Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we'll be discussing how to create advanced orders and specifically OCO bracket orders on the Thinkorsim mobile app. Now the process is gonna be slightly different depending on if you've already bought the position or if you're just trying to put on a bracket on a new position that you're trying to buy, but don't worry, we'll be going through both. Now, starting with putting an OCO bracket on a position you already hold in the account, let's go ahead and make sure we're on the positions page. This is where we're gonna see a breakdown of all the stock, all the options you have currently in the account. From here, let's go ahead and find a stock that we wanna put an OCO bracket order on. Now in our example, let's go ahead and use ARRY right there, A-R-R-Y. You can see I currently have 100 shares. I bought it for $25 a share and currently it's $20.43 a share. Now to create the OCO bracket, all we have to do is go ahead and click on the little, little box to the left of it, that little check mark box. From there, once you click on it, you're gonna see a little box opens up that says close selected. We're gonna go ahead and click on that. Now from there, it's gonna give you a bunch of different templates that we can use, and none of these actually place the trade. All it does is help you along. Now in this case, we're gonna click on the one that says with OCO bracket. We'll go ahead and click on that, and we're gonna say close selected. Now what you're gonna see is it takes us to an order screen that basically has two orders in front of us. The order on the left is a limit order to sell at a dollar above what we currently hold it at. The order on the right is a stop order to stop us out $1 below the current price. Now in our case, we wanna edit this slightly. So we're gonna go ahead and click on the limit order, the one on the left. And remember, this is our profit taking order. And in our case, we only wanna sell it if we can sell it for $25 or better. Basically get out at no loss to us, break even. Now once we hit done, the only other thing we're gonna change is change it from a day order to good until canceled. So that way, if it doesn't fill today, I'm not actually able to sell those shares for 25, it'll try again tomorrow. If it doesn't happen tomorrow, it'll try again the next day and the next day and so on until it actually fills or until I come in here and cancel it myself. So now that we're happy with the profit taking order, we're saying we wanna sell if it ever hits 25, let's go ahead and go back to the group and take a look at the stop next. Now in this case, the stop is a dollar below the current price, 1943. We're gonna edit that slightly. We're gonna go ahead and click on it. Now in this case, I don't wanna get stopped out unless it goes below 19. So we're gonna go ahead and click on that and change it to 19. Go ahead and hit done. And we need to make sure we also change this from a day order to good until canceled so they both match. Now that we're done with that, we're gonna go ahead and go back to the group and we can see our two orders. A profit taking order at $25. If it ever hits 25, it's gonna sell it or it's gonna stop you out if it ever goes down to $19. Whichever one of those orders fills first, it's gonna automatically cancel the other order. Now, all we would have to do to actually submit this order is go ahead and hit review in the upper right hand corner. From there, it's gonna give you a little order confirmation screen saying, are you sure you wanna do this? Does everything look right? In my case, it does. So we're gonna go ahead and hit send and we're gonna submit the trade. Now, right here on my order screen, you can see that both of those orders are working and those little link buttons to the left of them show that they're both linked together. If one of them fills, it's gonna automatically cancel the other order. And if we wanted to edit this or cancel it, we could go ahead and click on it and either say cancel order or cancel slash replace if we wanted to change something. In my case, I actually just wanna cancel the entire order, so we're gonna go ahead and cancel that, and we'll hit close here. And let's make sure we also cancel that stop, so we'll cancel that, and, and there we go. Both orders have been canceled. Now, next up, let's say you wanna put this OCO bracket order in, but on a position you don't even own yet. So let's go back to the watch list page in this case, and we're gonna pull up a stock I don't currently own, so AMD in this case. Now, we're gonna go ahead and build out the order ticket to buy it first. Let's say we only wanna buy AMD if it goes down to $110 a share. So we're gonna put in the order ticket just like normal. We wanna buy 10 shares with a limit price of 110 in this case. So we'll go ahead and delete all this out of here, put in 110, hit done. And I'm in this case gonna leave it as a day order. So if it doesn't happen today, if I'm not able to fill today, I wanna go ahead and cancel the order. Now, the next thing I need to do is go ahead and scroll down to the bottom and I'm gonna click on create an advance order. From there, this should look a little bit familiar. We were just on a page that looked almost identical to this, except now we've got an opening trade right above it. Now, the first order I'm gonna add is gonna be our limit order to sell it for a profit. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on that one, and I'm gonna make the profit taking order 120. So go ahead and throw in 120 there, and this one I am gonna make good until canceled. So if I'm actually able to buy some shares of AMD today at 110, if that order fills, this order will automatically go out there to sell it at a 120 profit target. So basically I'm making $10 per share, and if that doesn't happen today, it will try again tomorrow to sell it for that, uh, that uh, profit target of 120. Now I'm happy with that. We'll go ahead and go back to the group. And this time we're gonna go ahead and put in the stop. Now we need to change that one, so we'll go ahead and click on it. 
We're gonna change it from a limit order to a stop. And keep in mind, you can change it to whatever stop you want. I could make this a stop limit order. I could make it a trailing stop if I wanted to. It's the exact same process. You just need to put the order type that you wanna use. So let's actually say I wanted to put in a 10% trailing stop on this. Not a specific stop target, but a 10% trailing stop. Now, since I wanna put in a 10% trailing stop, the first thing I need to do is make sure the system understands that it's gonna be a percentage amount, not a dollar amount. So what I need to do is go ahead and click on that little plus or minus symbol and change it to a percent icon. From there, we're gonna change this from negative 10 cents to negative 10%. So we'll go ahead and throw that in there and hit done. And just like before, I want this to match, so I'm gonna change it from a day order to a good until cancel order. Now, some of you guys might ask in the comments, keep in mind you cannot use uh, EXT orders or GTC EXT orders. You can only use day or GTC if you wanna use an OCO bracket. That's entirely due to the fact that you cannot use a stop in the after hours and these orders both need to match. So you either need to use day or GTC when you're putting these in. Now that we're happy with that, we've got a 10% trailing stop. We're gonna go ahead and go back to the group and check out our order, make sure everything looks right. The opening order is to buy 10 shares of AMD if it ever goes down to $110 a share. If that order fills, it's gonna put out an order to sell those 10 shares at 120 or stop us out if it goes down 10%. If we're happy with this, we would go ahead and hit review if everything looked right in here, everything is spelled out the way that we like it, we would just hit send in the upper right hand corner. Now, since I don't actually wanna do this, we're gonna go ahead and hit edit and cancel out of this since I don't actually wanna place this trade. And the last thing I'm gonna show you today is how you can actually do this on an options contract because you can do it on an option. Not that I personally recommend you use stops on options, but I will show you how to do it. So let's keep AMD as an example and let's say we wanted to buy the 29 October since I already have them open and we wanted to buy the let's say 118 calls. So we're gonna find the 118 strike. We'll go ahead and click on the asking price, which right now is $3.20. And we can see it got added up there in the upper left-hand corner. We wanna buy one of them. And we're gonna go ahead and hit next. Now we would fill out this order ticket just like normal. We wanna buy one contract. Let's say we only wanted to buy it at 315, slightly below the current price. And we only wanted the order good for the day, so we'll leave that be. And just like before, we're gonna scroll down to the bottom and click on create an advance order. From there, it looks exactly the same, and it's gonna be the exact same process. If we wanted to add the limit order or the profit taking order to this one, we would go ahead and click on add an order. Let's go ahead and click on that and set our profit target. Let's say we wanted to sell it for a 100% profit, that would be $6.30, so we'll go ahead and change that, 6.30. We'll make this good until canceled, and we're happy with that. We'll go back to the group, and now we're gonna add our stop. So we'll go ahead and click on add an order here. We'll go ahead and click on it, change it from a limit to a stop, and we're gonna put the stop at, let's say 250, $2.50. We're also gonna make this one a good until cancel order. And that's it, we'll go back to the group. And if we wanted to send this, we would just hit review once again. Now keep in mind, this is just one example of an advance order, and it's the most popular. OCO brackets or one cancels the other, probably the most popular one that you're gonna use. But if you see up there in the upper right, it says first triggers OCO. If you click on that, you can change the order type. You could make it a first trigger sequence order, you could make it first triggers all, or you can make it blast all. Now, first trigger sequence really just means the first order is gonna trigger the second order, the second order is gonna trigger the third order, third triggers the fourth, and so on. First triggers all just means the first order is gonna trigger all of the other orders to go out there. And all of them are independent of one another, they can all fill. And finally, blast all just means put out all the orders simultaneously, they're all independent, they can all fill, and I really doubt you're gonna use that last one, but it's nice to know what it is. Now I hope that answered all of your guys' questions about creating bracket orders on Toss Mobile. If I miss anything or you guys have any questions at all about Thinkorswim or trading in general, please leave it down below in the comments. Also, check out my other tutorials if you found this video helpful and don't forget to leave it a like. Hope you guys all have an amazing week this week and I'll catch you all in the next video.